I know Will made the decision to like quit your previous job to do this, and you also like dropped out of your school. So, can you like describe like how you made that decision? It's, it's an idea that I can actually turn into business. So, so I actually dropped out of school. So. Oh, like how much funds? How much money does YC actually offer? I'm not sure. 欢迎收看 Kelly Channel， 我是 Kelly。那这里两边是 William 跟 Kevin， 他们两个是在戏谷刚创了一个新创的两个 founder， 两个都是美国人。我今天邀请他们来，想分享一下他们在戏谷新创的一些经验。而且因为就是他们才刚开始，然后入选了一个很厉害的一个 startup 的 program， so I have a lot of questions to ask them。大家好，我是 Kevin。Hello， I'm William。我跟 William 之前是同事，就我们没有在同一个组上工作，但是就一直知道他很厉害。我今天列了很多 ，I have like three categories of questions about like your startups. So first question is, what made you want to start a startup, and where did the idea come from? Can you kind of describe the journey from like having idea to like actually looking for like co-founders and then creating the company? I met Kevin while we were both working out at the gym, and then we started talking about you know everything that's happening with ChatGPT. We met up after work. We started doing some coding together, and then we went to a hackathon. About ChatGPT,、uh -huh. and then we actually won the hackathon. So then we、oh, just decided with this like idea. Not with this exact idea,、okay. but with a little bit of a different idea.、Uh -huh. Also using ChatGPT to write code,、uh -huh. and then we decided to just keep going and keep working together and、uh -huh. eventually apply to YC. When was this? Like from like having the idea to like the hackathon. What's the timeline? I think I first met Will in February, and then. We didn't talk much until maybe late February, and then that's when we started saying,、uh, "Will's like, hey, I'm working on this cool project on the side. Just give it a shot."、Uh -huh. um, we decided, yeah. So then we kind of started working on it for a bit,、uh, and then like that weekend or something, there was a hackathon. That that was the hackathon we went to. Oh, so、um, it all happened like really fast. Yeah, pretty fast.、Mm. And then kind of after, we're like, we should keep going with this idea.、Mm. Um, yeah. You applied to YC in March. Yeah, we had, we had a funny story. We applied to YC in March. Well, YC is a startup accelerator. You know, it gives you funding, gives you some guidance on how to start a startup.、Mm -hmm. So it helped us a lot because it was our first time starting a company. We never did this before. And for people that don't know, YC is like really competitive, <laughs> like really hard to get in. Only just like being accepted to YC is already like just really really hard. And like, is startup something that you always wanted to do? Mine, it was. No, I wasn't really interested in doing a startup. I was more of wanting to be a really good engineer、mm -hmm. and doing projects to make sure I learned everything that was new. And, you know, I stayed in basically mental shape to you know for the next part of my career. It's not something I didn't want to do, but it's something it wasn't in my plan. And then once we you know won the hackathon, we found we really enjoyed working together. We were spending like four hours every day after work just、wow. working together, programming. So that was fun. I realized that you know, I enjoyed it. I think I, I started kind of from a younger age, and I was like kind of wanting to had a bit of main character energy, and wanted、mm -hmm. to be, like、mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I just wanted to do something of my own,、uh, and I kind of like worked on some like random side projects throughout like high school to college, and then、mm -hmm. so so I actually dropped out of school. Oh,、so、I just wanted to try a lot of different things.、Mm -hmm. Like I was doing, I did a bit of NLP research prior to that, and like worked on various little projects that I kind of wanted to. Turn into startups.、Mm -hmm. and it was kind of after bumping into Will, we worked on something. I'm like, we, it's, it's an idea that I can actually turn into a business. Right, whereas like all the previous things I worked on were kind、mm -hmm. of like miscellaneous, little bits of fun. So it's、I、like、see. that weren't really. So I know Will made the decision to like quit your previous job to do this, and you also like dropped out of your school. So can you like describe like how you made that decision? Because it must be like really difficult to know like which path you want to go. Yeah, I was. For reference, I was a senior engineer, making really good money.、Mm -hmm. I thought about it in terms of two ways. One was if I stay at my current job, it feels like life is really good.、Mm -hmm. I feel more defensive. Like I felt like I want to maintain my standard of life.、Mm -hmm. Whereas I felt like being a startup was more of like going on the offensive and doing something more risky and what I wanted to do. First, it was the opportunity was here,、mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, now I have to. Have a chance to go take it,、mm -hmm. so I should just go.、Mm -hmm. And it's also like the the right timing, I feel like. Yeah, you can imagine it's a really really hot.、Mm. I'm like, okay, this is a chance. Yeah, and then I was also I was getting kind of sick of school. So, like, <laughs> What year not, were you in?、Uh, second. Second? Oh wow! So, you, oh wait, so you interned after your first year of college? Yes.、Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, must be like really 
experience in software to like plan an internship after <laughs> first year? Uh, they do that in Waterloo. Oh. Yeah, it's like a... Okay, next question is about YC. So how hard was like getting into YC and why did you think like your project or your company made it? We built the first version of Soup, which is our current company. We built the MVP in four days, so then I think they were really impressed by how fast we built mm -hmm. and that we were able to take four whole days and then like without knowing at the end of what would happen mm -hmm. and just build out the whole MVP. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Like four days. Four days was really fast. Did you just like work day and night? It was like go to work nine to five, mm -hmm. or maybe work out till six thirty. Mm -hmm. And I just come home and then work until like eleven and uh -huh. then and then they would go home and then Oh, wait, that's still really efficient though. That's like probably five to six hours a day. Yeah, about 20 hours of work. Wow. Yeah, so. And um, a question that probably some audience would wonder about, like how much funds, how much money does YC actually offer and like what other resources do you think are really important for a startup as like a, the starting stage? For the money, first they offer 500k, oh. where mm -hmm. 125 uh, is for 7% of your company mm -hmm. and then the rest uh, is convert to the next funding round. So it depends what you, your next funding round is. Mm -hmm. And what other resources do you think are important? I think the really important ones for us were first the community. We uh -huh. get to be held accountable that we're building super fast and you know, keep, keep it up. Uh -huh. That was the first one. And the second one was probably the distribution, YC posted on some other channels. Let me move on to the second category, which is about like your current state, like your company. So um, what is a typical day of a startup founder like, like right now? Recently I was fundraising, so it was really different. That was mm -hmm. like wake up at nine, then take meetings from nine to about five, and then try to work until the rest of the night. But then normally between all three of us, it's very similar. So whoever wakes up uh, earliest, goes and handles all of the issues that accumulated through the night. People in our community, we have about a, almost a thousand members now, uh -huh. and they'll report bugs and uh -huh. tell us that things are broken. So mm -hmm. we wake up, we fix all the issues, <laughs> and then we spend the rest of the day a uh, combination of meeting with our users, talking with them, and then building out features that we want. Mm -hmm. so. Moving on. So I guess like you both have experience just like being an engineer and not need to like worry about other parts. So do you like being an engineer better or like founding a company better? That definitely is the second one. You get to build at unrestrained speed, basically, because if you're at a company, they'll have some processes, right? Mm -hmm. like, so how are you actually like managing the open source community and like growing it, and where is it at right now? Yeah, so right now we have on GitHub, you know, GitHub mm -hmm. open source product from stars. Mm -hmm. We have about 4,800 stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about a thousand people in our Discord. Mm -hmm. The way we manage it is just by hand. I think right now it's, <laughs> it's really important to us to engage with every single person that joins our Discord. Mm -hmm. So I personally greet everyone I can. How long did you take from like, you know, zero to right now, 4.8? I think two months ago we had 60 stars. Mm -hmm. So that's really fast. Yeah, we started in June 16th. That was when the day our repository came out. I think we had zero that day. So do you think like as this community grow, you will still be able to just like interact with everyone or like at some point it will just be too much? Oh yeah, um, I think we definitely want to like do, do things manually as for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. because, um, like for example, we actually only recently set up an FAQ mm -hmm. and even before that we're kind of like we want to know the type of questions they're asking because mm -hmm. that just tells us a lot about their first impressions on our, especially mm -hmm. like, I think we have the privacy question, mm -hmm. like the most, like, mm -hmm. are you storing our code basically? Mm -hmm. And yeah, so we want to, we want to kind of uh, manually onboard and answer people's questions as mm -hmm. much as possible mm -hmm. until like we actually sort of like, basically, until we basically hit the amount. Mm -hmm. until, yeah, like, mm -hmm. I think even if our community grow 10 times, <laughs> let's say I have 10 times more work, mm -hmm. that'd be okay, uh, I'll be fine. So, mm -hmm. And then after that, if it goes to time from there, then I'll see. Mm. But, but. Do you want to talk about what your company does? Uh, so we're building Sweep, an AI junior developer that turns features and bug reports into code changes. So mm -hmm. you can see something like the payment link on our landing page is broken, and then Sweep will go into code base, uh, find the change, make the change, make it as a PR, and then you can just leave it to the senior engineer to review. Mm -hmm. yeah. So everyone that works at Big, Software company mostly use GitHub 
mm -hmm. and all communities get up. Yeah. And we realized PRs are the best way to communicate a good change. Mm -hmm. Especially if AI is generating it, then it makes it very safe. Mm -hmm. Because you can review it just like even a human's written code is not safe to merge. In a big company, you definitely cannot let people just push their code. Yeah. So if we go, if you write, if you have AI go through this route, and it can get reviewed by a very experienced senior engineer, mm -hmm. that senior engineer can do a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's basically like an AI junior developer on the team. Exactly. Okay, so moving on to the third category, some advice that you can give to people. What are the three skills that you think are the most important for a startup founder? I don't think we're very qualified to give advice, but <laughs> mm -hmm. I think some things that myself and Kevin have been focusing on recently mm -hmm. are the ability to cut off features. Like we had this whole whiteboard over there. It was filled before. We used to have 30 things on the whiteboard and now we have 10 and that's not too much. Um, so really focusing. I think focusing and cutting down work. Is Agility, kind of, well, flexibility in terms of like we can change what we're going to do today and do something else. Um, mm -hmm. I think another one is probably just general execution speed. So not just like completing a lot of feature, but like any sort of uh, we get XYZ done and then it would be like be solved in the next basically hour or something like or, or just a few minutes. And I think if something changes or we let's say we talk to a customer and he's not happy or something else comes in, you know, let's say a big company is interested in trying out sweep, then we're able to just change everything we're doing with and change our next month's plan in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's something is just really important to be able to do for us that we mm -hmm. we're still working on and所以跟大家插播一下很多向往来美国工作或者是创业的人几乎都会在美国先念一个学位那在申请的时候你一定会碰到的一个考试就是托福今天想跟大家分享改版之后的心智托福有一些跟动是我觉得让这个考试变得更